Okay, I don't normally pre-record things, so bear with me. This is basically a small sort of guide to show people how to get the um, wings, the angel wings and demon wings, which you can see here. I definitely think that they're obviously a lot better than uh, a lot of things, and of course you don't need your lucky horseshoe afterwards. Uh, to get them, you need to get Spirit of Flight, and I'm, this guide is more about getting the Spirit of Flight, namely how to get using this, the Tao of Pow. Um, it's by far, you know, if you don't want to spend tons of money on weapon, on uh, ammo and such, uh, then this is probably your best bet. So I'm just going to basically uh, show you in this whole pre-recording how to make it, because at this point I've already got all the best items because I end up going on to a, uh, somebody's server. But basically, here's how to get the Dark Shard. To get the Dark Shard, you need to be in a corrupt desert, and you can only get this in hard mode, and you have to kill these Dark Mummies. And basically, literally, you just hang about in the uh, corrupt desert. You obviously have to worry about corruptors and all that fun stuff. Uh, and essentially, keep killing the mummies. And this is actually quite a good method of making money, too. That's if you don't get your ass kicked, which I kind of do here. But the idea is just simply, uh, you know... Stay in the desert, you'll see these dark mummies. Normal mummies won't work. It has to be a dark mummy if you want to get the dark shard. Um, and this drop is semi sort of rare. By that I mean it is rare, but it isn't. Because um, I think it took like one entire Terraria day to get both the light and dark shard. And uh, yeah, uh, you don't really need anything for the mummies except of course you have to beat the wall of flesh and of course when you do that you unlock card mode which uh really makes molten seem like copper all of a sudden um but really all you need is a sword or anything but i do recommend getting like you know mithril or i don't know my i don't my I, 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 I can't pronounce it the the red armor the red armor that you can get when you destroy uh demon artwork. i don't know i don't know i i'm not gonna i'm yeah i'm not gonna bother so, uh, yeah, I was basically there for a while, and I think the next scene is... Yeah, the next scene is a little bit after when I finally got the uh, Dark Shard. You can see right here, I'm highlighting it, that's what it looked like. You can see it's got the green rarity. So, I teleport home. Yay. Uh, and then we move over to how you get the Light Shard. Now, to get the Light Shard, you need to be in a hollow desert, which is essentially a desert with a big fucking rainbow over it. <sighs> they could have really put a double rainbow joke in there. But the point is, you have to now kill Light Mummies. Uh, but one thing I don't, I really don't recommend, especially if you've, uh, you know, if you don't have any needs of protection, I don't advise you, um, try going for the Light Shard in Hello Desert when it's night, because we got those weird flying mushroom things and these rave and pixies and you got all that stuff, whereas you only get like, I don't know, maybe unicorns, pixies, uh, you know, the, the stuff you can handle, because those gastropod things, they... And they're not exactly the thing that's gonna completely kick your ass, but they are annoying as hell, as you can see here. I'm kind of struggling, and, uh, yeah, they do sometimes fire off a laser or so at point-blank range and you can't block it, and, uh, yeah, essentially, you keep doing this. As I said, this is all in one go. Like, you know, I obviously I kept calling it, but, like, once I got the shard, I went directly there, and this is, uh... I don't actually... Oh, yeah, this is when I get the light shard, but I was getting attacked by a unicorn at that time, so I decided to teleport back. And you can see I got the light shard there. Now, what you need now is, um... You need shards of light and night. I can't remember how many it was. I think it was, like, five or six of them. But, uh, now... You know, let's just say that you've done that. You got The lights and nights are easy to get. You get them underground corruption or underground hollow, and you get the Tao of Pow. Or, I got lucky, I got a, uh, a good one that gave me even more damage. But, um, now it's the next part, really. It's, uh, looking at my inventory. Oh my god, it looks so crap. Uh, I never really stood out. But basically, all that money I'm showing there, I, I literally didn't bank any of it. None of it was banked. Uh, none of it was, you know, I didn't have any to begin with. 
it was all there, you know, from killing all the things. And uh, now I'm basically showing, uh, you know, how to kill the Rivrums. And that's why I took off my angel wings, because, well, pfft, that would be cheating. Because, you know, you don't, you can't get the angel wings from anything other than crafting, so... Basically, uh, the next thing you're obviously going to need is you're going to need a sky bridge. And I went for the simple one. I just decided to use my IV uh, whip to go up. And personally, with me, I think you should have it around... Uh, once again, fighting at night is not a good idea. But, like, I I got to just where it started to go into space to kind of help it. And, um... Basically, here we're lying up waiting for the uh, Wyvern, or, you know, looks like that dragon from Never Ending Story, a movie which I never saw, picking up some falling stars for the sake of it. And uh, I think it actually appears right while I'm planting these. Uh, yep, there it is. So now you know what it looks like. And the trick is to use your cloud in the ball. It's a good idea to use the cloud in the ball to essentially, it's like a, you know, 90 degree jump rope. So you just do that and you've throw the Dow of Pow uh, right underneath you. It does take a bit of timing, and it can still go horribly wrong. Uh, but, you know, as you can see, I'm not really having much... See, that's that's one of the things you could go wrong, because if you keep running away, it sometimes decides to pull up prematurely, and then you end up jumping right into its mouth, where it does a whole... You know, if you don't have any armor, it does, like, 80 damage or something like that. So, it's not funny. You basically do that. Um... You know, and of course you can do it normally, but obviously the clown and the ball thing and the red balloon, you know, they help and the space thing also helps. You know, it pretty much guarantees you and you can see here I'm nearly dead already. Uh, but basically you keep doing this. It shouldn't take too long because you can see I'm doing uh, a lot of hits on him. And uh, yeah, you want to ignore the harpies. I know they're annoying because... My god, you have no idea how many times the harpies annoy me. But there you go, he's dead. Yeah, well, you want to annoy the harpies when finding these. So there we go. You get soul fly. I think you can get anywhere from 5 to 20. And we get attacked by another one from right away. That, that was a first for me. And I'm getting my ass kicked, so I decide to uh, teleport away and wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. 3, 2, 1. And... Boom. Uh, he does chase you quite a, for quite a distance. You know, and, um, of course, with the from now, you know, and the space thing, in easy mode, you can just pretty much go clear across the map if you wanted to, but, um, with the ride from now, unless you're very, very lucky, uh, there goes some of the money I spent, you know, getting those drops or whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, but the point is, it's kind of hard to do that now. Um, but basically, yeah, after that, you need to get, I think it's like, 30 souls of light or night, which takes a while, but it's quite easy to do, and then you get these, and personally with me, I like to involve the uh, cloud in a balloon, which allows me to pretty much go clear across a, a small map of ones. I haven't actually tested that, but I'm just banking off the fact of how high I go, and here I think I actually show you what I mean, like the whole, oh, it's really awesome because you can go so, so far. Um, right, see, look at that. In about two, you know, two full flaps, I uh, made it all the way up to my wife from farming spot. Like, here, I, like, show the distance, and <laughs> you're gonna see why it's... It's good! It's obviously, granted, the best way to get around, especially with space. But, um, it also shows... The issue that we have with hard mode with a wife over him. And the thing that confuses me with this thing is apparently it's meant to be a non aggressive monster, like the pixie, but they always go for you. Or, may or maybe maybe I read it wrong. Maybe it's an aggressive monster, but I, uh, well, if that's the case, every, every single monster in the game is aggressive. You know, if you're going to make a non aggressive monster, then make it non aggressive. But, um, you can see the distance here. Uh, I obviously didn't run across my world because it's a large world, but, um, I think I try to go all the way across the world because obviously you spawn in the center of the world with, the, you know, the sea on either side of you. And I think I just, like, do this to, like, prove how it's the best, 
method. Although I should have gone down the left side because it's got this huge fucking cliff and uh, I can actually reach uh, a corrupt island that's directly above it you know, with this. So it's quite good. Yeah, see, look. I find the I decided to show you the corrupt island. Uh, just in case anyone didn't know, I don't know if this is in hard mode only, but uh, the islands, if they are above corruption, they do get corrupt. Or maybe they do initially begin corrupt. I don't know. I... I... I only discovered this after unlocking card mode, so I don't know. And then I just I, I fly about here for a bit. I don't know why. Uh, and there's a chest which can I don't think I had a key for. But um, yeah, that's really the guide for. It. If you want to see more Terraria videos, then uh, let me know. But of course, I don't know because I don't know. Okay, but leave a comment if you want.